my name is uh, Pastor Joyce uh, Munyoki. I am born again. I love Jesus as my personal savior. Uh, currently married uh, to Pastor Obed Munyoki. We minister in Calvary Leadership, uh, Calvary Worship Center. Uh, we are passionate, and personally, I am passionate about winning people to Christ and um, uh, ministering to those with special needs and above all, growing women in the Lord. I live in Nairobi, Kenya, and that's where currently we serve together with my husband. My husband and I uh, founded Family Foundation Ministry 10 years ago. It's a ministry that is focused on singles and young adults and newly married couples, and it's purely based on the godly uh, principles about marriage and about relationships. So during my time in ministry, um, even before I, I came in as a pastor, uh, many a times we used to interact with families with children with special needs, and specifically some of them were either um, dumb or I could notice that some are autistic. And uh, where we, we were quite moved and passionately so about also the ministry of special needs children is because some parents used to leave these children at home. Yet they are very special and need to also be in church. Um, from a Sunday school ministry, I could see that they struggle to connect with these children who have got special needs. And uh, thirdly, I also noticed at a personal level that um, sometimes their parents are very stressed uh, because the kid can come and maybe they are hyperactive or that day they have not slept well and they are really struggling and you'd see a parent not settled within the church service because they have to keep on going out to attend to the child. But above all, I also noted that they are very lovable children who have an equal opportunity like anyone else and we also need to be ministered to like any other children. During my ministry um, I have noted that uh, the children with special needs uh, these range from you know the ones who are autistic, uh, the ones who are dumb and the ones who just have a hyperactive condition. Uh, what I noted about them is um, the families are usually quite uh, strained because some of these children require special attention. I have observed specifically in Africa that uh, when a children has, a, I mean, when children, sorry, have got a certain condition like autism or even any other special uh, need, that uh, they are taken like uh, in a certain different category and the mother is then blamed for that condition. It's always a woman thing, but um, it's important to note that we are all created in the image of God, including these children. Creation is not a factor for the woman, but it's a factor of God. In Genesis you know, 1, 2, we see God creating even man. And uh, I want to believe that even these children themselves, they are not even, a, uh, they, they, they are the way they are not because of the woman. In, and, and the Bible reminds us that he also created all men according to his image. And therefore, women must overcome that stigma as difficult as it is, you know, the stigma from society and embrace and love their children because they are God-given gifts. And uh, in Exodus 4, the word of God reminds us, you know, when Moses was complaining that I am I'm a stammerer, how will I even go to these people and talk to them? And God told him, am I not the one who created even the dumb and even the deaf? I'm the one who created the mouth, I'm the one who created the ears. And therefore, having a certain condition does not make God any less of God, but He is the one who created these children. And therefore, women and even people within society should stop stigmatizing this issue and should embrace the way that the Lord created them. 
the children. Many a times, like, um, you'll find that the awareness around um, autism is very low compared to even any other condition or, you know, unique uh, situations that health, health, health issues. So you'll find that even in, at times, specifically in Africa, autism is then deemed to be part of like witchcraft. But I want to encourage, uh, you know, anyone listening to me today that number one, um, just like Jesus, you know, in Matthew chapter nine, it says that when he saw the crowds, he was moved with compassion. Um, my encouragement today is that uh, we must deal with these children and their parents with compassion, a heart of compassion. Um, secondly, having seen, okay, my husband was not born really autistic, but he had a special condition and he could only function when he was seven years old. I would want to encourage all parents that, um, you know, the ones who may even be dealing with the condition, God is a miracle working God. And he is able to even change that condition. But even then, if he does not have that condition totally changed, he grants the grace to take care of these special children. Thirdly, we must also have a lot of awareness in form of training, in form of specific ministries in this area. And I come from a perspective of even in our own Sunday school sometimes, we could see that the teachers are struggling. But once they were trained through Nioni Initiative, the way they've continued dealing with the special needs children is totally different. And um, sometimes that knowledge gap can also be bridged through people undertaking certain trainings for either doctors, teachers, or even at the corporate place, any particular stakeholder that is currently handling a special needs child.